<laughs> Did you see that? He just tripped and fell. Oh, lovely. The splatter. It's the splatter for me. Where's your pants, my dude? <laughs> Decapitated. Goodbye. Oh, it's the th oh, it's the slip. Okay, cool. So we need to start off by chatting to this guy. What is it? Go on. I'm not gonna read the entire thing because the previous time we played this game, we did it. Um, get to the point. What do I do? Okay. And I want a throwing hatchet. All right, I'll be on my way then. Kill the, kill the goblins. All right, so the first thing is that we need to do is let's take a look at our skill trees. Currently, we don't have any skill trees. I'm going to specialize into the bow. That is the one thing that I want to do in this round. Rented Noodle. Hello, Rented Noodle. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Much better. Oh, I'm super happy to hear that. Level 2. All right, close tutorial. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to dress and we need to have the hatchet. So, the throwing hatchet like this, you can throw, but I'm not too sure how to throw it. Um, but we need to kill a few goblins. Listen, we'll travel through. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh my goodness gracious. We got rid of the goblins. We got rid of the gobbies. Level three. Well, good thanks, how's you? I'm good. Thank you so much. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. How's streaming going? <laughs> Magnus, hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh my goodness. Toofy with the heart. Aw, oh, Toofy with the heart. Also, hi, Cyrodiil. How are you doing? Um, Casually wakes up at 3am for a Koda stream. Listen, Stego, you don't need to wake up for a, for a Koda stream. Consumable bag. Oh, that's interesting. So there's like a whole consumable bag there. nice cool first quest done let's talk to this guy the lost hat all right so the lost hat we're going to climb up using what is it again e you know f Just woke up to a cutie streaming. Excuse me, I'm not cute. What do I do to climb? How do you climb? I don't actually know. He's got a point, the cuteness. Excuse me? <clears throat> no cuteness. My 16th streak is gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, how do you climb? Oh, goodness. Ah, I've got the hat. <laughs> Eat talk. Here it is. I 
enough to keep it. Thank you. All right, so now I have the hat. We can put on the hat. There we go. All right, so how much gold do we have? Let's see, inventory. 400 gold. That is enough gold to get us a bow. So let's get the bow. Hmm. E to talk. Uh, let's see what you have in stock. Bow. And, of course, a few arrows. Let's get... Let's get at least 50 arrows. Let's get let's get as many arrows as we can buy. There we go. Trade. All right. Great. So that will give us enough arrows now. And there we go. We've got the bow. And we can also level up. I'm going to level up. We've got two skill points that we've earned, which is nice. All that for a hat. Yeah, it's a hat. Stamina and let's do health all right and then the skill trees ranged i'm gonna go bows let's start so there's three options here triple shot frost arrow which is a frost arrow it requires mana and, and stamina this one requires mana and stamina and this one also requires mana and stamina so we can do fire arrow frost arrow or triple shot let's do triple shot and also frost arrow has a chance to freeze enemies has a chance uh enchant and loose an arrow enchanted with that let's see let's get those two so now if we go into our skill book there we go triple shot let's bring in triple shot as well as that now i'm not sure if triple shot actually consumes oh it doesn't consume arrows neither does frost arrow so we can use as many of these as we want and it won't be an issue which is nice need to talk what do you do around here i've got to be going now all right cool Right, so we can go off on an adventure. I think what we can do is we can go into the overworld. And let's go on to let's go off on a little adventure just to see what's out there in the big bright world. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is then... Oh, it's a wood-cutting place. So over here I can cut wood. Which is nice. It's very peaceful. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's pretty powerful. See what they added and everything yeah pretty much we're seeing all of the things that they added and it's a lot of things they added the developer added quite a bunch of things there was a there there was quite a few updates it's very very cool i'm very happy a lot of things happening in the developer sphere but we didn't get anything for it. This is Pal World without Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe. It, you also have very a lot of abilities, many different abilities, which is kind of cool. Oh dear, that didn't fire very far. It's kind of more like RuneScape, I think. It's because you can do pretty much anything. There's so many things to do, so many different things to try out. Oh, do you, do you, did you guys ever play RuneScape? 
Also, I have to play it again. Just wanted to wait for the progress to be a bit more. Oh, yeah. Rabbit meat. Okay, level four. Nice. By killing that rabbit, we have advanced. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nice animal bones. So it loots from afar now, which is nice. I don't have to run all the way there. Okay, nice. We've leveled up our wood cutting, lumberjacking. We're just jacking off today. Lumberjacking off. The game seems a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down just ever so softly, slightly, because it seems like it's very loud. You guys should have let me know. You guys should have told by. Put it on 70%. How does that sound? Is that a little bit better? Is that better? Because I'm watching this on the graph and it spikes and it's quite loud. Yes. All right, nice. We're popping all of these trees. Pop them. Pop them some wood. Right. Run around. Looking for adventure. Leave location. All right, so we have gotten a lot of wood from that location which is nice but it, there is no action there no action whatsoever so let's go where the action is so see here there's like new events and things that pop up which is quite nice it makes the world a little bit more better i suppose see now these guys are like they're they're trying to fight me <laughs> it's really dark yeah it is the game it's the game that's this dark the game deliberately makes it this dark maybe i can bring up the Resolution HDR. See, it doesn't have a setting. Health bar size, one hundred weapons. It doesn't have a, a setting for for darkness, unfortunately. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Gonna have to up my screen brightness from 10 to 40 to 70%. Oh, see, that's the thing. You have your screen brightness set on like 10. And you're like, oh my god, it's dark. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're just the one. <laughs> And I'm wondering if stream is too dark. Let's get some coal. I must say, so far I'm really enjoying the ranger. But I've also always liked ranger builds. Like, even in Skyrim, I, I usually go for stealth archer. 
which i know oh my gosh he goes for stealth archer so original but i like it i like to strike from the shadows leave me alone i just want to strike from safety I just want to strike from the safety of my own safe zone. <laughs> I really like that this is able to maybe create like a frost thing. That's pretty cool. Stealth Orchard is fun, but Mage is cooler. I, I agree. I agree with you. Mage is cooler. The nice thing about this game specifically is that I can imbue my arrows with magic. So I can have fire arrows or ice arrows. Like we chose the ice arrows, but you can also have fire arrows. We can make that rabbit just not be there anymore. The rogue archer trap in RPGs is real. Almost every game all start as one. Yeah. Rented, I absolutely can understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I'm also usually, okay, so my challenge usually for myself in Skyrim is, or in any of these games is kind of, let's see if I can play as anything but an archer. But I just, I default back into archer. In Skyrim, there are mods to add elemental arrows. I know I've played with them and I love them and I think they're wonderful. Oh crap, that is the wrong ability. Um, oh dear. Oh, they actually give you money when you defeat them? That's nice. That is pretty useful. Okay, now that is really useful. It's hard not to. Sneaking is fun. I know! Sneaking is really fun. That one was a little bit more tough, wasn't he? Oh dear. I wonder if I can craft arrows. Because otherwise I'm going to run out of arrows. Or can I only buy arrows from the market? What is this? Copper? This thing just keeps on going. Is this like a, 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 a bunch of ores? You should be able to craft stuff, but... But I can't remember. Oh, you can't remember how to craft them? I think it's a bunch of ores that accidentally spawned on top of each other. So we're basically like cheating. <laughs> we're gonna be so good. Is there anybody around? Level six? Wow, we've been leveling up at a frightening pace. But it's so dark though. Oh my goodness. I wish I had like a, a light, night light or something. Nice. 
nice. Dear pelt. It's really dark. It looks special, so it's not your fault. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, nice. Uh let's let's level up a bit. Gonna have to force me to turn it in to 100 percent Oh my goodness. Um let's increase stamina. And let's increase fortitude. Make fortitude go up. And stamina again. We're gonna we're gonna write uh, we're going to basically switch between stamina and fortitude. Let's do some skill tree stuff. See what we can do for the bows. So for the bow, we need level 3 on the bows in order to do more advanced things, which is wild. I'm wondering if there isn't maybe a way to cast something like... What is in the tech tree? Utility gadgets. Utility hip lantern here we go attach a small lantern to your hip that lights a small area around you last two minutes stamina cost two zip line set a zip line that launches a rope that allows you to travel between the launch point and the that is pretty neat let's get hip lantern so if we do skill book here utilities and we do that now if we press five oh look at that it's a small little lantern that illuminates the area around us yes it's exactly what it is very nice so it's still dark but it's not as dark <laughs> I wonder if there's like a mage light that we can conjure. It's like a beacon or a high attack me. <laughs> Look enemies, I am over here. It's the good boy. Thanks so much for the pet. Somebody paid me. Can we climb this rock face? Let's see. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the hydration. Ah, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Alright, wait, I'm still trying to figure out how we can actually climb. So let's see, climbing. To climb, you must have a weapon sieved or be unarmed. Oh, to grab onto. So how do we, how do we sieve a weapon? Let's just quickly look at the controls. Jump, attack, block, aim, camera, inventory, interact. Rapple is F. Um, sprint. Sneak. Wait, where is C weapon? Open console, sneak, sieve, draw, T. T. All right. Zoom. All right. So we need to do T. Oh, there we go. T. Now. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <gasps> good morning, Sad Moss. How are you doing? It's good to see you. We're climbing. OK, 
Okay, so you need to to put away your weapon in order. I wonder if it's still janky. It is a little bit janky, just a little bit, but it's good. I, I like this game a lot. I think it's pretty fun. I know it's it's not like peak entertainment because we're basically just. Oh, I can't. Oh dear. I don't know what's wrong with my install, but spamming space next to cliffs was giving me extra XP or something. Really? <laughs> Haven't tried it with a new update yet. Where do you mean? Like here? I don't know. It's wild. Alright, so let's go back to the overworld. <laughs> as much as I'd like to spam XP, I'm not going to do that. What's that event? Combat? Oh, it's like a combat event? No exploits? I'm too dumb for exploits. Uh, triple shot. <laughs> Copper Goblin. Does advanced magic use mana now? I don't know. What is advanced magic? This looks very similar to the place that we were just at, by the way. Anything but the first two spells in the tree. Oh. I don't know, actually. What I feel is if something has a, as a, as a, as a timer, right? Like a, a cooldown, then it's not supposed to use magic. That's what I feel. But I don't know. I might also be wrong. <laughs> it might be a terrible opinion. Tell me. Let me know if, I, if that's a terrible opinion. So there's obviously a lot more events now, which is nice. I, I must say, I appreciate the fact that they have events. What I don't appreciate, though, is that... I, I don't really appreciate the fact that... Night is so prevalent. Um... Like, I understand why they do it, I understand how it works, and I understand, like, the day-night cycle is important, but make night less. That's what I want to see less of, because it's very, it's a very dark game. And it's a beautiful game, so I want to see the day. What is this?
shame. My cat's very unhappy outside. <laughs> Screaming. There was a spell inside there. Uh, let's do five. Hip lantern. Um, skill trees. By the way, if you look at the magic thing, that's amazing. They, they added vampirism. So you can now use vampirism, but you must be a vampire in order for that to work. Which is amazing. It's amazing. They're going to add corruption, thaumaturgy, and aromancy, which is insane. Um, self heal. Oh, arcane bolt. Final rites. Yeah, must be a vampire. I also love the clarification. Like, well done. <laughs> you must be a vampire. Oh, okay. I like minor healing. That's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, sorry, I was still going through magic. Geomancy, necromancy, cryomancy, blood magic, arcane. All right. And then for melee, there's also a bunch of things that you can do. I can't start the game and check because it's an Unreal Engine and it means I need to redownload 100% of everything made. Is this game made in Unreal Engine? I thought it was a Unity game. I kind of want that, want that gadget. Um, let's add, let's add the gadgets to the secondary skill, skill tree over here, right? So if we do three, no, that's five. Invalid location. Oh, so it's going to put, going to put a zip line between two locations. But as a, as a severe cooldown also. Hello, Pixel Legend. How are you doing? such weird weather today it's like rainy but it's not and i love it it's amazing i love the rain anyone else here likes the rain see we can just do that and climb up anyway and then just get rid of the ghouls dispatch them goodness <laughs> wow i wasn't expecting him to come up all the way on that rock I, I thought that was a vantage point oh my goodness oh <gasps> gold me like some gold am i a little bit of a tomb tomb raider do i like raiding tombs maybe Oh, shit. Oh, goodness. There's a whole tomb down there. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, you just surprised me. I was... Yo, I, I got such a fright. Ooh. Stuffies. More stuffies. Do we have a do we have an inventory that like uh, do we have a limit? I don't think there's a limit. Crafting. Uh 
inventory. Do, can I craft from the inventory companions? Found? Why? Where are you coming from? Ooh, finally, the bow increased to level two. Oh, goodness. these guys are making a lot of noises and I don't like it summon skeleton uh, skill book summon skeleton he just doesn't do anything towards them. Okay, that's stupid. That's a dumb skill. Any game with summoning and necromantic um, mechanics. Listen, listen. There's a whole... If you go skill tree here, right, and you go magic, there's a whole necromancy thing here. Like, look at it. You can summon a shambler, summon a walker, mortal fear. There's like a whole different thing here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Who's attacking me? Let's go in here. Let's see what's happening down here. Necromancy was fun. they nerf it necromancy was fun i don't know why is there so many why do they just keep on coming Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so scared. <laughs> they just keep on rising. I don't like this at all. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, why do they jump like that? How are you doing? I'm 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 dying. Kind of maybe old buddy's not a skeleton. Oh, I don't think I. At least I don't think I'm a skeleton. Oh. 
Oh. Amazing. Level seven. Boneless pizza. Boneless pizza? What the heck? What is boneless pizza? I mean, all, isn't all pizza supposed to be boneless? Can you imagine eating pizza, eating bones in your pizza? Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm a little bit disgusted by that notion. Thank you very much. Maybe it has chicken wings. Chicken wings on pizza? No, come on. That sounds vile. I like my chicken wings separate. Ooh, do you guys like barbecue chicken wings? Oh, so good. I'm salvating at the idea. Also, Bowser, hello. Alright, so there's not really a lot going on over here. Let's get out of here. I don't like the zombies. Like the Chipotle. I, I've never had Chipotle. Because we don't have it in South Africa. <gasps> Guys, hello. How are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. Alright, so previously there was like complaints that, Oh, Kona, you make this game look so hard. And it's not hard. Um, does it look easier now? <laughs> that I understand what I'm doing? This is a question. Oh, the sounds he makes when he's out of breath. Oh my goodness. And it's Dagger. Level up! Oh. Yeah, doing okay. Woke up a bit ago. Oh, nice. It is kind of easy. Yes, it is kind of easy. I agree with you. I, I never said that this game was hard. Uh, skill trees, ranged, bows. All right, so the next thing we can do is we can do rain of arrows, rhyme shot, shoots an arrow of frost, freezing all in its pass, druidic shot, Fire three magical bolts in quick cessation. Rain of arrows or relentless barrage. Fire seven arrows that deal 20 damage each. Rhyme shot, absolutely. And... You know what? I'm gonna go for Druidic Bolt. Because why not? Rhyme Shot we're gonna replace with that. And Druidic Bolt we're gonna put there. So now... Uh -oh. <gasps> Femboy Sylvian! Femboy Hello. underscore Sylvian is now following. How are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. Th welcome to the chat. Because you're new here, you need to tell us what is your favorite cookie, Femboy Sylvian? Sylvian? A wild Sylvian has appeared. I know, I like Sylvian. Sylvian is pretty cool. Pretty rad. Oh my god, what the hell happened? <laughs> What the heck? 
Why are the birds just... Why, why are they just doing that? Why are they just doing that? <gasps> and chuck chip. Oh, that's good. Oh my goodness. How about mine? I like all kind of cookies. I like chuck chip. I like shortbread. I like all of that. What kind of game is this? This is a game called The Bloodline. It is an open world sandbox game where you adventure and you basically gain skills and you can do whatever you want. You can build, you can craft, you can um, adventure, you can go out into the world and just collect things. Imagine if... Um, what is the game that I said earlier where you get all of the skills? I can't even remember, but it's kind of like that. It's kind of like Roadblock. No, not Roadblock. Um, uh, it's kind of like... Man, there's another game where you get so many, like, different skills and things. I can't remember what it's, not, what it's called. <laughs> it's an old game. RuneScape. RuneScape. It's kind of like RuneScape. That does more damage. Oof. I am liking this. Hey, RuneScape was great. I actually never played RuneScape. I know of it. I know a lot of things about RuneScape, but I've actually never played it. It seems kind of like Skyrim, but the skill system screams old wow to me, which is why I asked. Oh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Give money, please. Money, please. Boom, boom, boom. Imagine if it was that easy to get money. <laughs> Give me money. <gasps> Lurk, bye, fanboy. Have a good day. I hope that everything goes well for you, you amazing bean. Have fun lurking. Is all this new? Hold on a sec. Give me just a quick sec. Zainland, hello. I like the wall run. It's pretty cool. Why is the crows just... Why are they doing that? That is weird. That's odd. Isn't that odd? <laughs> it's, it's weird. Oh, it's the... Th oh, it's the slip. Oh, you slip on the ice? Oh, that is wild! I didn't even know that was possible! Uh. 
So you can cost ice, but it's going to cost you. <laughs> Did you see them slip? Wonderful. I am enjoying this very much. Make the gobbo slippy, slippy, slippy. Gobbos. <laughs> Why? What's with these crows? They're so freaking creepy. They just like, they look. Look what the heck? <laughs> that is the wildest thing. Oh my goodness. This is ending. Oh, they drop feathers. Can I? I wonder where... Oh, oh, there's also like this calendar thing. Um, that shows you events and things that's going to happen. Drone birds. Yeah, pretty much. Um, give me a sec. Let me just quickly see tutorials, right? So is there something here for crafting? You can get diseases, excuse me. In your adventure, there might you might catch diseases like skanky throat or ogre stench. When a disease is caught, you'll receive a notification telling you that the disease has contracted. There are a couple of ways to cure diseases. You can rest in a bed for at least three hours, or you can drink a cure and ailment potion. Minor diseases normally heal over 60 minutes. What? That is wild. Engineering. Wait. Is it under tech? No. So, would. Do they have brain rot? Maybe. So, wait, where do I do engineering things? That's the question, isn't it? Do I go back to base? Do I go back to the base? I don't know. I don't even know what's happening, man. Mm. Ooh, a challenger has arrived. I can't fight them. Ooh. It was an engineer. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Right, great. So now that I'm here, we will just say camp, and then it goes into that place. No, that doesn't do anything. It rains, though. My word. The rain is insane. Man, I love rain. Oh, wow. I love rain so much. Rain drive me insane. Insane in a good way or in a bad way?
Ken, hello, how are you doing? It's good to see you, oh my goodness. A light drizzle is always relaxing, oh yeah. I like when I'm in bed, you know, watching a movie and it's a light drizzle of rain. I fresh I freshly showered and drying out so neatly in front of my PC. That's amazing. You love rain. Rain is incredible, isn't it? It's so great. I'm happy that you're clean. I'm happy that you were a clean bean. The Johannesburg weather is actually decent today, so I wanna I don't wanna die all the time. You mean with heat? Did it cool down? Especially cars running through puddles. Do you hate that? I'm not a big fan of cars, like and traffic in general. I prefer I am I I prefer nature and and not cars. That's why if I could have my way, I would probably never leave my house. <laughs> So we want to build, um, we want to build engineering, engineering, da, 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 da. engineering. We want to build engineering to increase your village engineer level, construct engineer themed buildings and decorate them and decorations. So apparently that's what we need to do. Now, I'm not too sure how that works, but I don't want to create a wizard tower engineer so for engineer we're going to need copper ingot and pack of nails i don't know where to get any of those engineers workbench engineer shop begin construction on this so now i need to somehow drop so the pine logs i think we've got that that is fine oh no we don't we don't have the pine logs even and i don't know where to get the iron ingots so that is annoying you already never lose the house <laughs> mainly because you you're also scared of the house oh, of, of leaving the house you're scared of leaving the house or ryan or <laughs> i love that or Ryan ore. But yes, I get what you say. We can mine iron ore. You can probably smell it. <laughs> Is it like onion ore? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I'm a big fan of onion ore. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What are you doing here? Be gone, Gobbo. Is nowhere safe? The most powerful in-game. Orion Orr makes the best battle. God, give me a break. I'm just a stupid dog. No, I'm I'm not making fun of you. I'm just thinking it's funny. The idea of onion ore is funny to me. It's a funny it's a funny concept. Um there was a shoppy thingy that you could maybe get here, but I see it's been, since been removed. That sucks. Boo. Boo. It's very difficult to type with pause. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, could you teach me how to cook? Could you teach me how to cook? Of course. Let's start with the basic lesson in cooking, cooking stews. You can cook at the oven behind me. Simply use all of the ingredients I gave you and you should be able to whip up a stew in no time. You've got it. All right. So do I just go here, interact. Oh, you can do cooking? What? Carrot, potato, rabbit meat, and that. Cook. 
These ingredients don't make a valid recipe. What did he give me? Wait, what is the ingredients that he gave me? Rabbit stew, potato, and carrot? I don't know! What is the stew? <laughs> I saw the internet, uh, the in, the intent to murder there. Oh my goodness. I forgot to. Oh my word. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, the bloodline. Basic stew. Bloodline basic stew. Basic stew recipe. One carrot, one cabbage. Cabbage? In stew? Are you mad? Um, uh, hold on. Harbinger, zone, towns. Recipes. There we go. Basics. <sighs> Basics to you. Carrot. Potato and cabbage. Carrot, potato, and cabbage. I would never have gotten that, by the way. Carrot, potato, cabbage. Cook. Basic stew. Alright, so what, is, what does basic stew do? What does it do? Carrot, potato, and cabbage. Just about a basic stew get, uh, heals 150 health. Wow! That is useful. Here's the basics too. I did it. Great work. Did you notice that you learned the recipe when you cooked it the first time? Now you can auto cook that recipe given that you have the ingredients. Never hesitate to experiment with ingredients. Some recipes will call a multitude of the same ingredient. Some just a single ingredient. Here's a test for you. It's wheat. Uh, I want you to turn that wheat into a loaf of bread. Here's a hint. Creating a loaf of bread will require four flour. Flour. Oh, okay. So we can do flour. And then if we do four flour, then that's one loaf of bread. <gasps> Yay, we did it! <laughs> I, was, I, was except, I was expecting cooking mama level of minigame. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine a cooking mama minigame? Looks like I've got some major updates. How's the performance now? The performance is pretty good, I must say. It's been it's been rough uh, at the beginning because it, my VRM almost froze, but I managed to get it to a stable place by limiting the frames per second to 60. In like figuring out how to make that loaf of bread, I figured it out. I knew you could do it. That's the basics of cooking. Honestly, that's just trial and error. Eating a good meal can offer unique and powerful buffs. I always pack a good meal before heading out on my travels. Also, don't be afraid to ask around for recipes. People like uh, uh, tavern keepers might be willing to share their recipes with you. Thank you. Of course, always happy to help. See you later. So, I can interact with this thing, this smelting thing, but I can't do anything. Can I? Oh, copper ingots. Oh, or moonstone ingots. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Copper ingots. Wow. Smithing ingots. Iron ingots. Oh, wow. That's amazing. 
Anywho, I need to get ready for my own stream. Have fun. Bye, Vlad. Enjoy stream. I hope that things will go well for you, you cutie. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be right back. I just quickly want to top up some water, okay? Don't go anywhere. Don't leave. I'll be right back. Rainbow Coda! <laughs> Sorry, I was eating a cookie and I didn't want to like eat it in your faces. So. Mmm, <laughs> cookie. Thin skull cap mushrooms. Nice. Rebuilding. Any of the plots outside are ripe for taking. With enough dedication, you can have your very own village outside the castle walls. Be sure to take a glance at the sign. That'll be your overview of the village. Alright. Cookie are not sharing. I'll share a cookie. Do you want? It's a cookie that I bought from the German market, actually. It's a... Uh, it's, um, it's filled with cream and uh, strawberry jam, and it's pretty good. <laughs> um, let's see what you have in stock. I have to buy a lot of arrows because arrows are fleeting. Sent it to me per mail. Oh, hello, hello, cute small wolf. Listen, Green Yoshi, you're a cutie. You're an absolute cutie. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Are you doing amazing? Are you doing fantastic? I hope everything is going well for you. There has to be an easier way to get arrows. Oh my goodness. Great. All right, cool. They look like Canadians from South Park. What? Who now? Hmm. What is it? Greetings, Harbinger. There was something I, that you needed. What do you do around here? I'm the groundskeeper. I make the stronghold stays in tip-top shape. I'll be going for now. Googie. How are ours? <laughs> You guys want me to share cookies with you? Wait, is there a way for me? Is there like an engineering table or something? Oh wait, there's a star there. Does that mean that I completed the mission? Can I just give him the skull caps? Do I have them? I mean, I did do some investigation outside. Skull caps for me. All right, so I just haven't done it yet. Oh, look at that. Oh, weapon smithing. Oh, you can do that? Oh my goodness gracious. I did not know that. Wow. 
That is wild. Boop. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the boop, Green. I appreciate it. You know what I'm really in the mood for? I'm really in the mood for a uh, milkshake. But not any milkshake. I'm in the mood for a... Uh, specifically, I'm in the mood for a peanut butter milkshake. Doesn't that sound delicious? Thank you much for the beep. Boopy boopy. I can't enter there. Boo. Boo. You're currently drinking a crime against controversial sodas. What is this crime that you're drinking? Tell us about it. How do I get needles? Pack of nails. Nails and copper. Copper ingots. Copper ingots I can get. But how do I get nails though? That is the question. Does anybody remember how to get nails in this game? <laughs> I'm asking because I don't know. Let's, let's Google. Let's find out. Hmm... The bloodline. Nails. Pack of nails. Pack of nails. Here we go. You can get them from crafting them at engineering tables. Now I'm wondering where there's an engineering table. Crafting. Physical objects. Necromancer engineer. Wondering where is the engineering table? It's a non sparkling apple soda kick from Mentos with coconut jelly bites. Excuse me, that sounds gross. Blacksmith. Oh, Vlad, I thought you were supposed to be busy with your stream. That's not the engineering table. That's not the engineering table. That's not the engineering table. So, I don't know where the engineering table is. It only tastes medium amount like chemistry. Oh no, that sounds gross. That does not sound like anything that I would li like to have at all. It's fine, let's go explore. <laughs> I'm getting bored, let's go explore. Let's go to Squall's End. Into goblin camp. Oh. It's so dark. 
Oh my goodness. Can't see anything. Can't see anything. Running English to level 9. This game is actually a lot of fun, not gonna lie, I kind of really like it. I got it from a place that sells all sorts of drinks from all over the world. And you decided to have that abomination. Can't see anything. <gasps> I'm being good. Oh, that's why it's so dark. Let's put on the lantern. It's really dark though. Let's go to the overworld. Let's go to the overworld. Let's go to the overworld. Keep on running. I'm gonna go to Squall's End. So many people behind me. We did it. Leveled up. We defeated these guys that wanted to attack me. The overworld gives mount mountain blade. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It really does give mountain blade. Is that it? We need the pine though. We need all of the pine. And the reason why we need the pine is because we're building our engineering thing. Flower. Take that off the ground. There's a lot of pine around here and I like I like the pine, it's good.
wood cutting increase to level seven. <laughs> Makes me happy. But you can't cut any wood though. You can only cut specific wood. Some trees are uncuttable. A human or a goblin? Gonna be a dead goblin soon. Oh dear. <laughs> Slippery. Slap. Nice. All right. So, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, overworld. Let's go. Oh my dog that made me laugh. <laughs> really the 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 slip that made you laugh. Oh my goodness. You know what's great about cows? You can milk them. Not that one. Also not that one. Was that? Oh my goodness. Well, rare Saturday stream. Yeah, rare Saturday stream. Rare Saturday stream. I like that everybody is kind of like calling me out on it. Like, oh my goodness, you're never live on a Saturday. Apparently you can't milk the cows. Sorry for the fa sorry for the false information, guys. What in the world did I just do? What the heck? Giving false information, how dare. Whoa. I have no idea what I just did or what's happening, but oh shit, look at that. What in the world is this?
Your very soul palliates with mana. You've gained a skill point. What? What would the, what what did we just do? I am so confused. What the heck? <laughs> wow, surprises. Is that cow poo? Oh, I can I can sweep apparently. Touch it or eat it. Do you mean the the, the, the glowing orb thing? I ho I hope you mean the glowing orb thing. But was it how are you doing? Are you doing well? Having fun? Previously, I was able to gather wheat from these farms. How do I do that again? Yes, I mean the glowing thing. Thank goodness. Doing okay. Much better than Friday, I guess. That's good. Preparing for the elite levels of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Oh my goodness. There's nothing in there. These houses look a little... A little empty. Ooh. Oh, this one's full. Full of stuff to steal. Can we steal? Oh. <laughs> Number one reason. Holy crap. Clean your dishes. Clean your dishes. If your, if your sink looks like this... You need, you need, you need to get your life in order. <laughs> Come on. Look at that. Clean up a bit. When you, especially when you're going to get guests over, you know. If you're going to get guests over, clean up a bit. Finish the main levels. One sitting on, uh, last Saturday. Oh. Get a dishwasher at that point. Yes, look again here. What the heck? Get a dishwasher. <laughs> Stupid cows that we can't milk. So what am I supposed to do here? What what's the what's the point here? I'll throw dishes out the window. Oh, so he doesn't have anything for me. They left it for you to do, really? I don't want to wash their dirty dishes. Ew. And what do you have, fair man? Let's see what you have in stock. Guns. He sells guns. I don't use guns. Sorry. So... This town is a little bit of a bust. Well, we did get a, a skill, a skill, a skill thingy, which is really nice. Dear adventurer, I need your help in a, a perilous task. Please clean our dishes. <laughs> oh my word, can you imagine? That would be so funny. Clean our dishes for us. Oh dear adventurer, please clean our dishes. We can't do it ourselves. We don't want to do it ourselves. Ooh, what is this? Can I go there? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here. Let me camp. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My coffee cup hit the microphone. I was excited because I had coffee. 
Do you guys like coffee? Nope. Yeah, I know you don't like coffee, Zinlin, but come on, coffee is good. You never had any coffee? Good. Continue that tradition. The second you have it, you're gonna want more. Coffee can be cool. At this point, I'm drinking coffee more for the addiction than for the actual flavor. Excuse you? How dare you? Back to the overlord. Hits. Is it kind of a dishwash situation? Man, I, I, I don't like washing dishes, though. Do you... How do you guys feel about washing dishes? <laughs> I, I, like, I, I know it's an important thing, right? I can't get over? <gasps> oh, no. Is the bridge broken or oh I need to go there it feels dirty what the dishes yeah you know when you're washing dishes and there's some food particles in the water and the the foam is on top of the water so you can't see so it's kind of like russian roulette you know ooh tree it's kind of like russian roulette you don't know if you're going to touch something or not and then you touch like a carrot or a pea or something and then you know you just feel it but you, you've got no idea what you're feeling yeah, that's that's a pretty fun feeling. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. I'm being boxed. I'm being boxed. Are you violently retching? Why don't you throw the rest of the food in the rubbish? <laughs> don't waste food though. My mom taught me not to ever waste food. So, you know, what I like to do is I like to put a net or have one of those filter things. And then when the water drains, then I like to gather all of those little food particles and put them in a, in a, in a jar. And then when my friends come over, I say, these are like some pickles. It's pickled fruit particles, pickled food. And then they put it on their food. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, gross. Ah! Uh, I grossed myself out with that one, actually. I, I apologize profusely. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, goodness. Well, it was a good day. <laughs> you should be sorry. Remind me never to eat food you offer me. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> it was a good day. Now it's a terrible day. Avoid me. Uh, remind me to avoid any contact with you. Oh. I love you guys too. With the special seasoning? <laughs> no! Speaking about pickles though, making pickles. Have you guys ever made like pickles? Like real pickles with uh, different food? You can make pickles with onions. You can make pickles with um, little cucumbers. You can make pickles with... You can pickle pretty much basically anything. 
as long as you create the correct brine's consistency. Now, I've never done or made any pickles myself. I've never done it. But I'm very interested and curious in the process about, you know, making pickles and thinking whether or not it's good. So I want to know, did any of you make pickles? And if so, how did it come out? You made it to, you wanted to make kimchi though? Oh my goodness, yes. I totally would love to make kimchi as well. Isn't it wonderful? And kimchi is also really good for you. It's got like some positive, um, like microbiome things. That's good for your for your for your system. I think. I don't know. Correct me if I'm talking. If I'm spreading misinformation again. <laughs> Zenland, I'm not gonna read that out loud. Because I know you've got your trigger, you've got your, um, you've got your clip finger ready. And I just know that that's going to be a creepy, disgusting clip. You're the person that begins this. <laughs> It is. It makes me feel less guilty about having so much of it. Oh, yeah, because you're like, but this is good for me. I can have as much kimchi as I want. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I love that. Dude, we can clip what you yourself has said, and that would be creepy and disgusting. I know. I know. The duality of me. I know. <laughs> It's the duality of man. Oh, it's the duality of ma. But you reminded me to clip the last thing. No! This is gonna be on YouTube anyway, so, you know, fun. The duality of man. <laughs> oh, Dijon sauce. Oh my goodness. Am I saying it correctly? Dijon, Dijon, Dijon. It's a sauce and it's nice. We're just cutting down trees, cutting down trees. I was tempted to play, um, now that I'm playing this and, and cutting down so many trees, I was tempted to, to get back into New World, actually. Dejon Mustard, thank you so much, Zen. There we go, Dejon Mustard, there we go. I was tempted to get back into New World because I played it when it came out, but when it came out, it was a disaster. It was, like, it, it was good for 80 hours, and then... And then it was like the, the, the economy just tanked royally and I got really bad. So I stopped playing. At least that is my opinion. Never had it, but it's still so pass. Not good. Not gonna lie. Level 9. But yeah, I played, um, I played New World when it came out, and I, I, I kind of liked it, actually. It was good. I, I've been meaning to kind of get back into it, but time is the problem. There's so many games that I want to play. I also still want to get back or, or play a little bit more of Skyrim VR. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I've been playing Skyrim VR, and it's an absolute treat. It is a wild experience. It's really good. Oh, 
And of course, I also want to play this. Oh, my word. There's so many games, so little time. Is that the Amazon Inimo? Yeah. New World is the one that Amazon brought out. Apparently, it's good now. But if I'm going to play MMO, I might as well just play... Um, I might as well just play... What's the game's name? ESO Online. Man, I love ESO Online. Crap, sorry, me hitting the, 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 the microphone today seems to be the, the theme of the day. How many times can you hit the, the freaking microphone? So many times. We're just playing, we're playing Lumberjack uh, Simulator. I've got, I've got somebody <laughs> in my family that when I play games, he calls it, you, you like to play running simulator. Because he always sees me just running around, not really doing anything specifically. Um, so he just calls it running simulator. Whatever game I play is running simulator, regardless of the game. Which isn't wrong. Lumberjack Simulator, not wrong. Yeah, that's not wrong. <gasps> Toothy! Are you done with your stream? On going. I don't know, sometimes I find games like this to be very calming and relaxing, like doing the same repetitive thing over and over and over again. Um, sometimes I find them grating and I'm like, I don't want to do this, but like today, I'm feeling... I like it because it's nice and relaxing and I don't have to think, I can just turn off my brain. Do you feel also playing Running Simulator? What do you guys think of story narrative type games? Like games that are very heavy in story narrative. Do you like it or do you like more open-ended games like this? Do you do you prefer a game with story? Because I spoke to somebody the other day and they told me they can't play a game if it doesn't have a clear directive. They need to have a directive in order to actually progress in a game. Otherwise, they're just going to run around endlessly doing nothing. And I thought, you know, in a game like this, you kind of make your own story. You make your own mission you make your own quest what you want to do you're going to set out and you're going to do that specific thing so for example me i am now just got gathering resources because we want to get the engineering table right so i'm gathering these resources and that's my thing so what's your story of this game exactly that i am i want to see the new mechanics number one Number two, I want to get the resources. So my story with this game is I am just a random dude that likes um, doing random things. <laughs> that is the story. And apparently, I'm a pretty good lumberjacker. Oh. 
But it's like that with any type of game like this. Um, just hoarding stuff until ultra rich. Yeah, just hoarding stuff until ultra rich. Making money is usually one of the fun things that I like in games. Like, I like to see number go brr, you know? The more the number goes up, the better. And it doesn't just have to be no like money, it can be any random thing. Sometimes I just fixate on a random thing and I'm like, yes, I, I would like to have X amount of this thing. Thank you very much. All right, so we need to set up a camp in order to explore the area. Bridenhold is a work in progress dungeon. It will eventually be changed into a more of an open world area with area specific challenges and loot. But for now, it's a rough dungeon with many aspects that are still being worked on. Feel free to explore, fight and loot, but expect a few dead ends until the dungeon gets reworked. Oh, thank God. Help us. What's going on? Bandits have taken, bandits have taken hostages. They're, trying, they're tying them up and torturing them. What can I do about that? Ransom money, it seems. They've been sending out letters to nearby villages saying that they'll free their family members if they pay up. Understood. So, what do I do? I release these guys. Run! Run. They took all my money. Of course they took all your money. I'm not even breaking a sweat. Freedom. So many things. Oh, parchment not worth much. It's not worth much. So I'm not gonna take it. I, I, I yammed an uh, uh, arrow straight into his face. Just give up. Oh, wow. I really like the arrows. I like it a lot, actually. The ranger bolt is really cool. as fast as my feet can take me I'll run as fast as my feet can take me if the developer of this game asks me to do voice acting for him for a few characters I would say yes <laughs> just like a bunch of lines just like some like funny things you're not going down so easily you're not going down so easily <laughs> prepare to die <laughs> Can you imagine? I would love to have my voice featured in this game. Aww. You think you can get away with that? <laughs> you think you can get away with that? There, rip those voices out. Put them in the game. Developer, if you're seeing this on YouTube, let me know. <laughs> ah, 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 
<laughs> Did you see that? He just tripped and fell. Oh, lovely. The splatter. It's the splatter for me. I've been working on the railroad all the night long or all the day long or all the whatever long. I don't I, 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 I don't actually know the, na the, the lyrics of the song. Ah! Where's your pants, my dude? <laughs> Decapitated. Goodbye. Lovely. Run, my dude. Run. Run, Forrest. Run. Run while you still can. There we go. We killed him. Oh dear. Run, run, run! <laughs> run, run, run! That's the last time I leave the city gates. Oh my goodness. I can't I believe I they caught me. <laughs> Those ropes were starting to burn. Those ropes were starting At to burn. Oh my goodness. A good story. Thank you. Here I go. Bow increased. We're increasing the bow. get in there maybe from the other side yeah this is going to turn into a full-fledged dungeon but currently it's just like an open world do what you want to do type thing that's pretty cool that's, been, that's a neat idea it's a neat idea to showcase um, what it's going to be like you know Let's go. <sighs> Done quite a bit there. So nothing left really over here. Let's go this way. Entangled woods. That's where we needed to go from the beginning.
Okay, let's go. We've reached our destination where we need to be. Let's sleep until five in the morning. I really like this. This I like a lot. Not sure exactly what that did for me, but... My sleep schedule? Oh, it's a blob! I keep on falling every time. Tiny little slime. Oh, so if you do the bow challenge, you actually get experience and gold. That is pretty neat. That is really nifty. I like that a lot. I like that very, very much. up there No, that was spot on. Come on. Oh, it's... Maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's just my skill. It's fine. It is what it is. <gasps> Cuddles with Cutter Tail. Oh, thank you so much for the Cuddles. Green Yoshi. Wow. doesn't do anything not too sure what to do here I remember last time we did something and then something happened but I can't remember what I can't remember what happened I know you're supposed to do something that's that's what's poison bolt new skill learned poison bolt skill book Poisonous bolts. I 
I really like that you can learn things just from the world. That is really good. Book. There's cheese in there. Oh, cheese. Cheesy. What is this? Do you think there's like a pathway in there? Like a door? Oh my goodness. That didn't do anything. I wonder if you're supposed to set them ablaze. Goodness, what is happening? What the heck is happening? Goodness gracious, that's a lot of goblins, my word. Memory leaking or something. Yeah, I think there's a memory leak or something. It just... I think it happened when all of these goblins started spawning. It's a lot better now. <sighs> Look at this chicken. The dead chicken now. Right, I've got no idea what's happening here, what is happening here, so let's move on. Poor a volley. <laughs> oh no. Space chicken go brrr. explode oopsie oopsie doopsie poopsie
Oh my god! <laughs> every time. Every single time. Oh my word. What the heck? Oh goodness gracious. I keep on falling for it every time. Slip and fall. Have you eaten anything tasty recently? I had a really good burger yesterday. Um, it was a burger with mushroom sauce, but the mushroom sauce was, it was truffle infused mushroom sauce. That was quite nice. I must say, that was pretty tasty. What about you? Have you had anything tasty recently? Is my basic stew? A little bit of health back. Sounds interesting. It was. It was kind of delicious. I really liked it. I like tasty food. Mm. You had pork and apple burgers last night? Oh, how was that? That sounds very interesting. Wow. Pork with apple? I've heard that there are two complementary flavors, but I've never tried it. So apparently, let's try the zipline thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! That's actually very cool! I love that! Oh, I love that. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. I'm gonna do pulled pork with applesauce soon. It's very popular in the UK. Pulled pork's amazing. I love pulled pork. It's so good. Let's level up a bit. Increase health, increase stamina, stamina, health. Alright, let's look at the skill tree. Let's see if we can get new range. What the hell is a mana blaster? Crossbow is coming soon. Okay, so we can get new ranger abilities, which is great. I am looking forward to this. So, balloon arrow. Shoot a balloon attached to an arrow. Lifts physical objects and enemies provided you attach enough balloons. That is amazing. That's wonderful. Homing arrow. Fires an arrow into the air. After a short moment, it will automatically shoot towards the nearest target. Wonderful. Azora uh, or Orza's arrow. Fire a blessed arrow that if it kills the target enemy, puts their soul to rest, granting you divine favor. Mortar arrow. Fires a magical arrow that detonates on impact. Fires in an arch like a mortar. 
Oh, that sounds interesting. And I kind of like the balloon arrow idea as well. Overdraw. Pull your bowstring until your bow is on the verge of snapping, then release. I wonder what that is like. TTV, hello, how are you doing? I hope everything is going well for you. Um, skill book. Let's go for the arrows. Let's go for overdraw. Let's put overdraw there and the other one that we got, number five. So let's just quickly see. Requires the arrow. Oh my goodness, that explosion. Oof, that is a powerful shot. You can just know it's powerful. Let's try and have a look at number five, see what it's all about. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with that. It's kind of you have to get used to um you have to get used to using it it's not just a quick and easy vloop, vloop, there you go i'm finding you i'm pretty good thank you so much for asking i'm having a great day thank you i don't know if i'm i'm such a big fan of the, the wood arrow like, it's, it's just the worst version of the three arrow thing. It feels like it's just the worst version. I wonder what's the point of divine favor. One of those mechanics I don't really fully understand. way no that way is to the dungeon i think i have to get up somehow me trying to climb my way up Now, let's do five. Ma! I made it! <laughs> I somehow made it and I cheated my way up. Ma. Ma indeed. Mm. 
Right, nice. Finally, finally, we're doing the first um, part of the the game. The death knell tools. It is time. The deafening voice of Eros. Uh, is Esros thunders through the sky, but only you can hear him. Each word utters, each word he utters makes the earth under your feet shake. Harbinger, how good to see you, my lord. It's an honor. Likewise, my friend. I come bearing bad, bad tidings. I'm afraid, for a fog is is beginning to cover my vision upon the future of this realm. Without a firm tether between our blood. Your ability to tap into my power will be greatly hindered. What exactly is a tether? A tether is a connection that transcends realms. Our tether allows us to communicate as, as we are now. With your divine blood, it, will allow, it allows you to use my godly gifts. How can we strengthen the tether? Warp stones have been appearing throughout er, 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 Eros, 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 whatever. The, more, the mere existence of these stones make it difficult for us to maintain a tether. What happens if the tether is broken? Thankfully, as long as a member of the Harbinger family lives, the tether can never be fully be broken. How can I destroy these warp stones? That is something we're going to have to test right now. As you approach my steps, I felt the strain on our tether. I suspect that there is a warp, warp stone connected within the caves in this step. Find the entrance of the caves and see if you can locate the warp stone. If you manage to find it, destroy it. Understand. These warp stones are enchanted by a strange magic from the unforgotten realm. Thousands of souls are contained in the heart of the stones. To properly destroy them, you must perform a, so a special prayer. I shall teach you the prayer right now. Please bear with me. A cold shiver runs through your spine, embracing... Uh, im im emanating throughout your skull you feel hands laid upon your head followed by an unfamiliar feeling that follows through your body almost like a warm liquid that runs through your skin or under your skin you slowly open your eyes tears flowing down your cheeks what has happened you were given knowledge use that knowledge to destroy any warp stone that you come across very well lord skill book uh Wait, can I? Can I add that in here? Oh, you have like a, a special caps lock ability place. That's pretty cool. That's neat. So does that mean I can have more skills on the caps lock side? That's neat. That is really neat. Because that means I can have more things not be in my bar at the same time. That is very neat. I, I appreciate that a lot. Okay, let's go. See, I don't like that. That's stupid. I don't like it at all. Uh, do I have do I have more skills? Uh, bows. Maybe relentless barrage. No. Homing arrow. No. The balloon one. No. 
Maybe the Rain of Arrows is pretty good. Let's have a look. Uh, skill book. Arrows. Druidic Arrows I'll put there. Um, Rain of Arrows. Let's do Rain of Arrows. See, I like that. That is pretty neat. And the area is a lot longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> I love the barrage or the mortar arrow. It's so good. Yes, that's perfect. I love that. That's wonderful. be getting a better bow or if I will be getting a better bow ah fire hot it burns my skin Deal. on a light oh, Morgan hello how are you doing I hope you're doing well I'm doing really well thank you so much for asking and yeah we're streaming a little bit on a Saturday it's a it's a sneaky Saturday stream ah. there we go absolutely annihilated him Positively annihilated them. Do you know what's fun? Oh, he just went into the water. Okay, bye, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Ooh, gold. Free. Oh, dear. Ah. Um. He's too scared to fight me. He's like, no, thank you. Glad you're doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you. Oh, that's a good year, Morgan. Oh, my word. That's amazing. It makes me it makes me so happy to do that. I'm really getting used to all of these abilities and I kind of like them a lot.
It's spooky. The noises are spooky. I don't like them. So to break it, it's that and one. There we go. <gasps> Why are you cute? No, listen, Akitamu, you're cute. How dare? How dare you call me cute? <laughs> Why are you cute? Why are you such a cutie? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! ah, come on. God damn it. Shit. Keep on forgetting. Oh, I need to go back up there. No, not how that's so cute. You're you're the cutie patootie here. Come on. Old parchment. Pack of nails! Oh yay! Nuts and bolts. Gold, we need like the gold. Copper. Goodbye. Like the gold, copper, copper. I'm not keen on taking the freaking paper, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine, it wasn't the way. It seems like there's some kind of a memory leak or something again. It's getting slow. You know what? Instead of doing this, I'm just going to use my skill. See? That's a lot easier. <laughs> you got a cute personality too. Excuse me? How dare you? I'm fearsome. <laughs> uh, can I open this crate? Dwarven decorative short blade. Oh. Is that it? Is that what I'm getting? That's it? Oh. Q to go down. Beep, 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 beep. I got it. I got it! I got it. Um, f five again? <gasps> no, I missed. Oh, come on. Something's glitching in this game. I wonder if it's because I have the weapon unsieved. I think that might be the problem. But now I need my weapon for murder. Nice. You know what we need? We need a lantern. I can't see anything. Am I being attacked? I don't know. I can't see anything. <laughs>
Ah, oh, finally, I made it. I made it. Now I will be able to commune with the gods. I think. Am I able to communicate with the gods? Journal? Uh, deliver tin. No, blood tether. Here we go. Return to Jeff Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Oh, I need to return to Jeffrey? I can do that. I can return to Jeffrey. Uh, skill tree. No. Overworld. Ah. I wonder what's here. Aldegan? Is this like a separate town? Oh, it is! It's a whole town! Oh, there's like different rewards and things here. Sweep the streets, bard work in Algen, oh, Al Alder, Alder Glen, Alder Glen, there we go. <laughs> bard work and sweep the streets so you can you can like upgrade a job i think and then get more rewards from it so there's like different job postings that's pretty neat i wonder how it works if you go if you do sweep the streets right let's do let's do this one we, we will sweep the streets seven times Well, that's one. Ooh, engineering table. Okay, nice. Here's an engineering table. This is what we need. Pack of nails. This is some hard work. See how anyone can enjoy oh, he's yourself to a Spike grenade, spring, copper flintlock. Wow. Okay, that's Just insane. Poison grenade, trigger, nuts and bolts. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, great. That's amazing. So for an this engineering table, nicely. you need to specifically go to a town. And, and the town do the engineering thing. That's that's actually pretty pretty rad. I'd be eternally grateful. Just one coin is all I ask. I won't be eating tonight. That sounds very AI generated. The 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 just one coin is all I ask. Again, the developers should contact me. I'll give you like free one-liners, <laughs> a couple of noises and and sounds if you want. We're all come to use them. Putting that out into the universe. Give you a list of things to read. I'll read them for you. Hey there. You look like you can handle yourself. Would you happen to be looking for work? Would You wouldn't be happy to look... You wouldn't be happy. You, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? <laughs> Let me read it again. <laughs> hey there! You look like you can I've handle yourself. The you again. wouldn't be looking for some work now, would you? Depends on the work. It's just a delivery job of sorts. You see, my father recently passed away. He was an adamant churchgoer, 
a real upholder of the teachings of Arosa. So much so that in his youth he helped construct the Plat uh, Parford Monastery. I have his ashes here. I can't imagine a better place to uh, to place his ashes than in the monastery he had to construct. Day, another coin. So then you need someone to take his ashes to the monastery. Yep, to the crypt of the monastery specifically. I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. Why don't you go there yourself? According to the church, the monastery has a bit I of an un uh, undead home. problem. I am a brewmaster, though, and through and through. Not, I'm not cut out for fighting, especially the undead. Although I did prepare anti-undead gear for whoever might accept the job. I'll do it. Praise today. the gods! My father will truly appreciate this. Thank yous. Yet another dreary day. So there's a bunch of things you can do in the town. You can sweep the streets, you can do bard work. That's two. We need to do seven. Assignment complete. Okay, great. So my assignment is complete. And I also see that I get respect in this town, which is really cool. So the more things you do, the more respect you get, pretty much. If it's fair, I'd be eternally grateful. Yet another dreary day. Nice. Anyway, we need to head back to our town because we need to do things. We need to complete the quest. of the betrayer. Where exactly is my town? Oh, there it is. Probably just stronghold. Ironhaven. Looks like a really nice vibey game. It is, Morgan. I actually really enjoy this game. It's pretty fun. It's got a lot of different things. Um... So there's a lot of different things that you need to do. I like focusing more on the combat, but you can do building, you can do um, crafting, you can build up your town and decorate it as much as you want. Um, you can do harvesting, all of those type of things. And also, it's got a huge skill tree, like huge. Look at the range, like there's bows, there's the different skills for bows. But if you want to go into magic, the magic skill tree is absolutely wild. So there, magic. There's pyromancy, arcane, electromancy, geo geomancy, uh, necromancy, uh, cryptomancy, druidism, and blood magic. Vampirism, if you're a vampire, they also are going to introduce aeromancy, corruption, and th thaumaturgy. Um, and then each one of these has like a different... You can do like, as an example, let's say you want to do something like druidism, right? There's different spells here. So things like wa uh, Willow's Run, you take the form of a rabbit. With no attack, this form is best used as a means for movement. It's very quick and easy. Peck, you summon a bird to fly and pick a target enemy 
or uh, Ronan's call transform into a direwolf for 30 seconds. You know, those type of things. Um, so there's a bunch of different spells and different things that you can do. But yeah, that's pretty much what it's all about. a few things I wonder what the difference is between cloth and auto craft I wonder when you get your donkey. I want to get a donkey. I've seen people have a donkey, I think. Okay. I'm gonna have these. <laughs> Amazing engineering bench. You definitely like the druid, the druidism spells, etc. I know that's why I showed them to you. I knew it was straight up your alley. I think you talk to one of the guys in your starting base. It's like the first thing you ever do. Oh, Doga today, Doga doing well. <gasps> Tomb Raider, hello. I've arrived to help you adventure. Ah, oh, thank you. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Are you doing fantastic? Is everything going well for you? Oh, nice. Holy crap. He has like a do and everything. He's kind of hot, isn't he? <laughs> Let me see your stock. Oh, nice. And he has a bunch of things. Fancy. There's so many weapons and things that I won't be using. So that's gonna net me 13,000 gold. Fine, let's try it. Nice. So we have we have this place now, which is amazing. By the way, we've created our first place, and over here is our engineering table. So we can create engineering stuff, which is amazing. I love it. It's wonderful. The next place that we want to make is going to be here, and we want to build engineer level two brewery smithy fletcher oh a fletcher requires birch log ash log twigs the fletcher provides you with a fletching station as a hunter shopkeeper who can sell you various pelts bows and other hunter gear not yet available Coming soon, coming soon. Oh, okay, so both of these are coming soon. So not yet available. Herbalist. Alchemist. General store. Necromancer shrine. Baker. Quarry. Quarry. 
Oh, so these are all coming soon still. Blood ritual, armorer, coming soon. Logging hut job board. Okay, so this is just a logging hut. Okay. So most of these are coming soon. Except this one. This one increases your mana by 100 points. That's actually really cool. So each of these will give you something unique and something wonderful. Nice. Okay, cool. So we know a little bit more about the game now. At least I do. And over here is the job board. So if you're looking... Or not the job board. The, the board to see pretty much what your town is like. Um, no dominant theme currently, unfortunately. But I do like it. Cool. Um, Alright, guys. I am getting a little bit hungry. So I'm going to cut stream. Um, we're going to end stream right here. We did a few, a few things, which was nice. We... we went through the master the main storyline we we took we look at we looked at the uh, the um ranger class abilities the bone arrow things we built our first thing so yeah that was pretty fun i don't know i had a blast i thought that was really good if you like this game check it out on theme it's pretty good it's built uh, it's being created by one person which is amazing i'm, I'm throwing in a little bit free like promo they're not sponsoring me or anything like that but i just i just really like it and i think it's very great um but yeah that's gonna be it for youtube bye youtube say bye youtube guys <laughs>